Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a little bit of a different background just because I was filming a different video, my D-Stash video, and there's still a bit of light outside. So I thought I would film my Hobonichi Weeks, Hobonichi Weeks setup. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen some reels of it, a little bit of, um, a little bit of a snippet on like how I made this cover. Um, like this cover closure. This is a Hobonichi Weeks like clear cover on cover. So follow me there if you guys want to see that. And I kind of showed a little bit of like what the setup looks like. But anyways, I thought I would just jump on here and show like the full proper tutorial and tell you guys about, oh my gosh, this dupe is like literally one of the best Hobonichi dupes I've found. And I'll show you a couple options, but I do have um, the actual Hobonichi, like a uh, sneaker weeks that I've been using for memory keeping. And let me just grab that and show you. I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself, so I'll backtrack in a minute, but I'll just wanted to show you like really quickly why I think it's like the best dupe I found so far. Because see the layout? Like, and I also like that it's white paper. Like, I know some people like the cream, but I love the white paper. I mean, obviously it's not um, Tomoe River paper, but see how like it has the thin slits like that? Not slits, but you know what I mean? Like where the date is. And then like this side, like it's almost the exact same. And I'll show you some of the other like options, dupe options, and you'll see that it's not quite the same. Anyways, I digress and get ahead of myself, but that's a little sneak peek. And so let me take you through it. So I um, got this and I was debating getting the spring Hobonichi Weeks, but I was shopping my stash and I totally forgot I had this because this one actually came with my zipper um, Hobonichi cover. I'll link the video up here. I'm pretty sure I did a video on it. Um, it was a cover, a green cover that was a zip around and kind of like the one that I got um, that I'm going to show you today. But anyways, that one was from AliExpress as well. I'll link that video. And this was a free one inside. And so I just kind of forgot about it because I was using that for my, you know, sneaker weeks, my actual. And then I was shopping my stash and I found it. And I was like, hey, this is actually an amazing dupe. And so why I didn't end up getting the spring version, which is what I was originally like super close to getting, was because... This is undated and I'm like, I never like actually follow the dates and then I'll feel a lot of pressure to finish it. And so then I was like, oh man, I should just like use this and I could date it myself and it will be awesome. So that's what I did. And um, I will link this one down below. It's like literally nine dollars. Um, it has like a craft cover, but you can't tell when you put it on the inside, right? Like inside a cover. Anyways, it's like so amazing. For those of you who want to try it out and like, especially if you want it undated, I cannot recommend this enough. I have two other options that I'll show you near the end, but these are not as good. It has a better cover in that it's like a harder cover, but like, you know what? I even prefer this one. Like I want to buy some backups. That's how much I love it. <laughs> okay. So starting with the outside, I put just like a craft black paper um, cardstock. And then these are freebies from Ivy Mill Inc. And this one is Maria Plans. Um, she has so many amazing dashboards and planner cards and stuff. So this one's also Ivy Mill. Like this, all these are just Ivy Mill and Maria Plans. And um, then I just put a picture of my hubby and my kids. These are um, the GTD bundle sticky notes in my shop. You guys know that like I love GTD method and that's, you know, I have to have that in every planner. So I just put the inbox sticky note there. I have the waiting on at the back. And um, how the inside looks, I'll do a quick page flip in case you guys are interested. So this is like the yearly overview and there's two of them. The weird thing about this is like it has the days one, two, three, four, five, six or whatever, right? In order to make it undated. So then you put the month or the day of the week at the top, but it could be like you could be starting on like a Wednesday or something, right? So it's kind of weird, but I don't know. It works. I'm not using it. Then it's two page grid. Then it has like, you know, that uh, yearly kind of view where it goes all the way down the vertical yearly and then the months across the top. Then it has the monthlies undated, of course. Then it has after the monthlies, you go into the weeklies. And so this is what my spread looks like and I thought it turned out so well. Let me just zoom you in a little bit here. 
So I used um, these stamps, these rubber stamps, and I'm just going to grab them for you and show you. So these are the rubber stamps, and I got them from Amazon, and I first saw them on Lindsay Scribble's channel. And it comes with like a little ink pad, and I wasn't sure because I never used rubber stamps before. This is actually my first one. And I just love how it looks. Like, it just looks so much more, like finished and stuff and nicer than my handwriting if I were to write in the dates and also I don't like stickers because it kind of creates a bump right so stamps are the best option and then I just put the line down the middle and I thought this looks so cute I'm so proud of myself because you guys know that I'm not good at making things look nice <laughs> so this side is obviously the grid the grid size is the same as the Hobonichi so something around the five millimeters the pages, of course, I just said are, are, are like a white color and they're obviously not Tomoe River paper. They're like, they're actually very good quality. It's kind of thicker. Um, so I'm really, really loving it. And then the back, it does, it just has like a few grid pages. I think like eight or 10 or something like that. It has the 100 list and then a bunch of random stuff. Oopsies. So that's the 100 list. And then there's like a bunch of, um, oh, here's like a contacts or there's a contacts or like a gifts or something. And then some couple random pages. So that's kind of what the planner looks like. And the, the size is about without the cover, of course, is about the same as the sneaker weeks, but the width is obviously thinner because this is a mega. So that's probably the same, a little bit thicker than the original um, Hobonichi, but the size is the same as a Sneaker Weeks because it obviously doesn't have that like harder cover. So that's the inside. The pages are rounded. Ghosting wise, there's definitely not really any ghosting from the stamps or my writing because of the thicker paper. I don't know. Like you can't go wrong with it. I like. I, I don't even know what else to say besides that it's just amazing and it's nine dollars guys nine dollars Canadian that's probably like seven dollars US or something oh my god I love it okay so let me just show you now oh sorry before I go there let me show you the back before I compare do some more comparisons and show you the other two dupes hopefully the lighting is not bothering you it is a little bit darker now um okay so I just put some routine cards, a couple um, stickers in the back, and cloth and paper PM card back there. And what I've been tucking in at the back is two things. So these are the Hobonichi Weeks um, memo pad cards. Oh my gosh, this lighting is so dark. Let me see if I can brighten it a little. Okay, I don't know if that helps at all, but anyway, so this is the those Hobonichi memo pads. It's like just like the grid, the thin grid pad, and they're meant to be like slotted into the side or whatever and fit like within your Hobonichi weeks, and it comes with like a pack of three. So I just slotted one of those back here, but also your Hobonichi doesn't have dailies, right? So I wanted some dailies, so this is from my shop, but like, I mean, you could probably cut something down or, I don't know, have inserts that you have and resize it to this size maybe. Um, but I just made it the same size as the Hobonichi memo pad. And so it's really thin and it comes with like a cover. Um, so I printed this on cardstock and I kind of just like this quote after all this crazy stuff that's going on in the world. I don't know, the, the quote just kind of resonated with me. Um, so it's just a cover and then you can print as many of these today pages as you want and then I just like stapled it together and Yeah, so then you have dailies within your Hobonichi weeks Which is like one thing that I like need is like the time dailies um, My weeklies doesn't have to be time but on the daily I like to see what the flow of the day will look like so this is perfect and I just did it like that. Um, and the other thing to note is like I, I resize anything in my shop to a different size if you request it, even if it's not there. So if there's a, like a, another undated daily insert that you're interested in, you can request it um, as like a Hobonichi Weeks memo size and I can create that for you too. Um, but of course you don't have to use it. I'm just saying in case it's a need that you have. Um, but yeah, so it just fits like that. 
Isn't that perfect? I don't know. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Because before, it's like, the weeks it was not enough because I was just like, I don't have enough space to do dailies, right? And I can't fit all my, like, daily stuff in these little tiny things. I don't like to, I don't know. I don't like to use this side, like, try to break it out into dailies. It just, it doesn't work. You need a separate dailies. At least I do. So this has been perfect for that. Um, and then now let me just show you how it kind of compares to the other dupes. So I told you guys at the beginning how I like how this layout is the most similar to the Hobonichi Weeks in that, you know, the date section here is like that slimmer profile, right? Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have filmed in this awkward position because now... The lighting's not even good and I'm sitting in this awkward position. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Anyway, so the, just the actual layout just is like the most similar. They have like that one line there. It has the line here and the real Hobonichi Weeks. In the real Hobonichi Weeks, you get the two little marks um, so that you could split into three. This one only has the one in the middle, but to be honest, like I prefer it because the three is like too small. But I guess the good thing about having the three is being able to like use, make a smaller section and then one wider section so that I could put events on this side and like tasks and stuff in the bigger box. I did like that better. I mean, it's not a game changer obviously because you could just make your own line halfway, but just so you know. The only other thing in here is it has this like really light square in the corner and I don't really know why, but it is what it is, but oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I love that it's undated. I'm gonna go with like a new mantra or something this year where I'm, you know, I'm just gonna go with the flow and if it doesn't work for that week or I don't wanna use that planner for that week, it's not gonna be the end of the world. I'm just gonna skip it, use what I want and then go back to it and call it a freaking day, you know? It's a hobby at the end of the day and if you're productive and doing your hobby, then it's a win-win in my books. Okay. So let me show you the other two options. So these were the two that I have tried in the past. Oh my gosh, this lighting is getting worse and worse. I hope it's okay. So this is the Kinbor. And you have, I've obviously talked about Kinbor in other videos. I'll link the videos up here with the most amazing Kinbor, like A5 The Cousins. Um, the, the paper in there is kind of like Tomoe River paper. Like, it is the best dupes for Hobonichi like I've ever found. This one, which is the Hobonichi uh, Weeks dupe, is not as good. And I think maybe they have a newer version. I don't know. I haven't been able to find it. Maybe the dated one is a bit different. But from what I heard like back then when I was doing that video is that the Hobonichi Weeks, like the paper is still this thicker paper. It's not the same. Um as the uh, other Hobonichi Cousin ones where the paper is thinner, is more like Tomorrow River paper. But what's funny is that they're both Kinbor. Like they're both actually Kinbor. This one is actually Kinbor too, I think. I'm pretty sure, almost positive. But see how the layout's just not the same? Like it obviously has the grid on that side and the grid is actually a bit smaller. So if you like the small grid, like for my shop, this one is better for it. It has the smaller grid, not as small as the 2.5 in my shop, but it is smaller, but I don't know why. I just like don't really like this layout. Like I prefer it like this. I don't know. When I look at this, it, like it brings me joy because like it just makes me feel like I'm using a Hobonichi, you know, like a Hobonichi, a real Hobonichi Weeks. So that's that one. And then let me just quickly show you the other one because my camera battery is about to die and I really want to get through this video. So this is the other one. This one is not Kimbor. And this one looks like this. This one, the grid is huge. So you have, if you have bigger handwriting, that might be better for you. And then on this side, it looks like that. So it doesn't have any lines. And this one's a bit more minimalistic and it's kind of good too. I don't mind that at all either, but I don't like the huge grid. Like that one's just huge. See how this one is like more like the real one. That one's enormous. And the other one was a bit smaller. So that's that. And those are like the other two options. I mean, the other pages in the front are similar. Like this is what the month looks like on this one. Um, this is what that yearly looks like on this one. And then there's nothing else there. Um, and then this one, 
the front, yeah, that's what the monthlies look like on the front. And the yearly on this one looks like that. So that's kind of some of the differences and the, the notes pages looks like this. It's not gridded note pages, it's like lined. But anyways, so those are kind of the three that I've seen and tested. And by far, I am so, so happy that I shot my stash and found this because I don't know, I can't even tell you how much I'm loving it right now. I'm really, really loving it. Ugh. If you guys decide to give it a try, please let me know. Like, I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna stop obsessing because I feel like I'm crazy. Anyways, the paper is thicker and I actually kind of like it. It could probably handle a lot on this. Um, whereas the Tomoe River paper is so thin that sometimes it's, it's nice, but I don't know. I really love this and I love that it's white. So if you could white out on it, it doesn't show. So that's a pretty quick video. Actually, let me quickly show you the um, cover if I can get it in before, before my camera battery dies on me. So just really quickly, here is the cover that I got. It's the um, Philofax, uh, what is it called? The, the zipper binder, oh my gosh, I cannot even remember. I won't show you um, the, full video of how it fits and everything because I'll link the video here that I did of the unboxing and how the Hobonichi Weeks fits inside and I will link it there. Hopefully that video is up. If it's not up then it should be up soon. It might not be up yet actually but there's a video coming out on this. Um, basically it's like a two-in-one. It has the rings but it's removable and you could just put this in here like that. Fits perfect or you could tuck it in at the back like this and it fits perfect even with the cover on cover. So watch that video. Actually, it's probably not out yet. I should probably stop saying that. It, there will be a video coming out with this. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you can watch out for it. And I kind of show you the details about like how you could use it, what else you could fit in here, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for today. Um, please consider subscribing, liking the video, tell me what you want to see more of, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!